What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, my name is Rochelle and welcome. Today I am going to be doing a haul. On my last video I did a vlog shop with me and so I figured I got so much stuff that I would just do a separate dedicated video to everything that I got. So I ended up going to Ulta, Walmart, and Ross. Since my favorite is makeup, I figured I would go through the Ulta things with you first. And there is a lot, so I think I'm just gonna try to buzz through this as quickly as possible. First, I noticed that Juvia's Place is now in Ulta, which is super exciting because they seem like such a good quality brand, but you have to order online on their website. And I have never gotten anything from Juvia's Place, but I've also never heard anyone have a negative review about Juvia's Place. <coughs> Tegan, stop barking. Sorry, my dog is barking in the background. This is just what the front of the palette looks like. I love, come on, Ziggy, come on, good boy. My pit bull is going to join us. <laughs> Here is the front of the packaging. It is just so beautiful. That's literally like a work of art. And this is what the inside looks like. I am very much so a neutral tones kind of person. I've been getting a ton of like really colorful eyeshadow palettes lately. I got the Morphe 35M, which is like purples, reds, and greens. And then I got a BH Cosmetics Aurora palette, which is just like bright, crazy colors. And I also got a different BH Cosmetics palette which I am doing a video about. I don't think I have uploaded it yet, but that will be coming soon. Um, so I thought I'd just go back to my normal and get a neutral toned palette. I absolutely love this. On the tester of this eyeshadow palette, I was swatching them and they were so creamy. Like I can't even think of another eyeshadow palette that when I touched it was like that buttery. So I am so excited to use this. I don't want to swatch it for you guys today because I haven't taken any pictures of it for my Instagram and I like them to be nice and new. So I'm not going to swatch it today, but trust me, it is gorgeous. So that's that. And then the next palette I got was this Morphe blush palette. This is the warm, yes, 8W warm master palette. It looks like this. It has the like newer packaging. And honestly, I really bought this for kind of like these two shades down here. Also this one. I'm not really into like really shimmery blush, sunburnt kind of like darker cheek color, especially for the winter time. So I am really excited to try this out. I believe that this was $20 and I think that the Juvia's Place Warrior palette was also $20. Next, I picked up this eyeliner from e.l.f. I just actually ended up using it today. It is just a waterproof gel eyeliner. Since it said waterproof, I just got it for my waterline. So far, it seems pretty good. It was nice and dark. It wasn't the softest. I kind of like a creamier eyeliner in my waterline just because it's easy. And it wasn't the softest, but it wasn't bad, so... I also picked up this little contraption, which is, which is a mascara and shadow shield. So I'm using this for my clients. I obviously don't need this for myself. What you do is um, you put it right underneath their eye and then they close their eyes and you can just coat the mascara without getting anything, you know, all around. You can also use it on the top this way. And so you can put it this way and then just coat their mascara that way. So. I've seen these around. I don't know if they work well or not, but it was something that I figured for like three bucks would be great in my makeup artist kit. The next thing I got were these three Tarte Shape Tape concealers. I think that they were like 50% off for Platinum Ulta members and I couldn't pass up that deal. I know that everyone's been really into that new Too Faced Born This Way creamy concealer or whatever it's called. And I haven't tried that one, so I'm sure that it is good, but I just love Tarte Shape Tape and I feel like it was on such a good sale that I had to stock up. I got the colors Fair, Light Sand, and Medium Sand. Light Sand and Medium Sand are going to be for my makeup artist kit and I got Fair for myself for winter time. The next thing I got was this Catrice uh, HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. It is mattifying and it says it lasts up to 24 hours. I got the color 20 Warm Beige. I actually used this foundation today just because I was like so excited to use it. I really wanted to try it. I heard that it had really good coverage and it lasts really well. And I really like it so far. I feel like the color was pretty good. It's really lightweight, so it doesn't feel like you're wearing a ton of foundation on your skin because it was very like thin. And um, I felt like it just like applied really nice and it was really high coverage. But yeah, I really liked it. It was beautiful. Let me know if you guys wanna see a dedicated video to this foundation. I really liked it. 
Okay, the next thing I got was this Morphe um, makeup setting mist. I've heard so many people talk about this. They say that they like it because it is an aerosol can, so it's just like a continuous spray that it has a really nice light mist and that it smells amazing. I also heard that it has glycerin in it, so it gives your face a really like dewy look, which is what I prefer since I have dry skin. I really like a dewy face mist. Okay. Oh, I feel like I had to shake it, but I guess you don't because it's like an aerosol. Mm, it does. It smells kind of like um, light and fresh. It does smell really good. Oh, I totally like it. Do I look any glowier? <laughs> I think that people also really like this to wet their eyeshadows um, to make them more like foiled looking. I'm excited to use this for that as well. And this was $15. Okay, the next thing that I picked up was this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipstick in this chocolate line. I got the color Sweet Tooth. I have another one of these. I forget the color, but it was really similar to this, just more pink toned. And then this one's just a little bit more of like a nudie brown. That is the swatch there. It's just like a really neutral, like brown toned liquid lipstick. And I really like this color. What I really like about these liquid lipsticks is they are matte, but they stay a little bit like creamy on your lips. So it doesn't dry your lips out really, really bad like a lot of other liquid lipsticks. It's just kind of like a creamy matte formula and I love it. I seriously want the whole line of these. I'll probably just pick them up one at a time. <laughs> these next two things I just got from Kmart. This first one is a Wet n Wild liquid catsuit liquid eyeshadow. It's like a light shimmery silvery champagne kind of color. It is called Pure Intention. I think that this is for their Halloween line because it has all these like little skulls on it. When I swatch it, it swatches rather thin. It looks like it would be a good topper. I don't know if I would use this like by itself on the lid but it is like really wet and shimmery looking. So that would be really pretty like over the top of like another shimmery eyeshadow. Just like very glittery, it's pretty. And the last makeup product from, well, I have some more stuff in my Walmart bag actually. <laughs> I got this Jordana lip gloss. Hopefully that's in focus, it is so pretty. I have previously picked up two of these, one in a more peach shade and then one in a more like white shimmery shade, which is a good um, dupe for the Fenty gloss. And this is just so beautiful. It's like has little specks, almost a blue reflect within this like bright magenta shade. Do a little swatchy poo. So pretty. Okay, see how it has that like blue reflect to it, but it's like that bright magenta shade. I don't know if you can tell with my lights. It's just so pretty. I'm seriously obsessed with this color. This was $5 and this is in the color 05 Fuchsia Brilliant. So it'll go with my little collection. Next, we are going to move on to the stuff I got from Walmart. First off are these Equate Baby Wipes. What I like to use these for is to wipe off my hand from swatches. So. I just keep a pack of these in my little makeup desk and anytime I make a mess, I just like to like quickly wipe them off and that way I'm not wasting all of my makeup wipes. The next thing I picked up were some lashes. I really love the Salon Perfect and Kiss Lashes from Walmart. I just picked up a bunch for myself, but those are also a lot of what I stock in my makeup artist kit. I got these 614 lashes, which are wispies, but these ones are like particularly really long, like longer than the Ardell wispies. They're the same kind of style, just like a longer. I like to wear these lashes when I have like a lot of detail work on my eyes and I don't want the lash to cover up all the work I've done or like I have a really shimmery shade and I want you to be able to see the lid. I really like these lashes because they are long and wispy, but you can still see a lot of your eye through them, if that makes sense. Honestly, I feel like these also look a lot like lash extensions. Whenever I wear these, people think I'm wearing lash extensions. So I stocked up on two boxes of those. And then I also got another foundation. This is the Physicians Formula Healthy Glow Foundation. I got it in the color LW2. I heard that this foundation kind of oxidizes a lot, so I'm not really sure about the color. I haven't tried it yet, but I think that it's supposed to just be kind of like a glowy foundation, and it seems like people are really liking it. It comes with the doe foot applicator, kind of like that new Makeup Revolution one. 
It has a slight smell to it. It's not a great smell, but... So yeah, I'll have to try this one in a video. And then I also picked up the new CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation because I've heard a ton of people also talking about this being a very nice glowy foundation and that people have really been liking it. I like this one because it has a pump there and I got it in the color Buff Beige. It says that it is full coverage and oil free. So I'm curious about this one too. Let me know if you guys wanna see any dedicated videos with these new foundations that I got. And then the last thing I got from Walmart were these earrings here. Oop, they're twisted. Whoa, hold on. They are these earrings here. They were on sale for two bucks and I know that they're really super long and like dangly, but I like really big chunky earrings. Honestly, I feel like it would look really cute with this kind of like orange thing I got going on here because it has rose gold, silver, and gold. So kind of like a mixed metal. And yeah, I love it. They had a bunch within this like time and true mixed metals line that were on sale. There was like a ton at my Walmart. I almost wish I got a few more. So they just look like that. They're really long, but they're not like overly heavy. Granted, I'm used to wearing really big, heavy earrings. So they're not like too bad, but I am kind of like used to wearing big heavy earrings. All right, you guys, and the last few things I got were from Ross. The first thing I picked up was this Jordan's Skinny Syrup Vanilla Caramel Cream um, Coffee Sweetener. I normally get the sugar-free Torini for my iced coffee, but I figured I would try one of these. It is zero calories and zero sugar, and I think that this is sweetened with sucralose which is okay for keto. If you guys don't know, I'm on the keto diet. I vlog my meals, so I will put the card up here if you'd like to see kind of like what I eat on keto. I have also heard a lot of other people really like these, and so I figured I would try it. This is the flavor, did I say? Vanilla Caramel Cream, and it was $3.99. All right, the next one is this sweater. You guys, I have some like strange affliction for gray sweaters. I have so many gray sweaters. I should count how many I have, it's ridiculous. But this one is really different. It's that really soft like velvety material that you've been seeing a lot this season. And I really liked it because it has this like almost like distressed top and bottom. See, it almost like looks raggedy, but it's supposed to look like that. And I really like that style, kind of like holy or whatever. I got it in the size medium and it is from the brand Love by Design. It is originally $46, but I got it for $12.99 at Ross. And yeah, it was super comfy. They also had it in a really pretty like mustard yellow, but I didn't want to like spend too much money. So I got the gray one to go with my gray sweater collection. It's also like a little bit cropped, so it'd be cute with a pair of high-waisted pants, which is what I normally wear. Oh, you guys have made it through the whole video. We're to the last item. Congratulations that you've stuck by this long. So I just got this little hoodie. It's kind of like a really thin material. It's just kind of like a crop top, it's black and white stripes. I thought it would look cute with a pair of leggings. And it kind of at the bottom has that like, um, what's it called? Like when there's no hem at the bottom, just like a frayed, just distressed hem. I don't know what it's called, but it's like when it kind of like doesn't have a hem on the bottom, which I like. It just looks like comfy and cozy. I thought it would look really cute with either high-waisted jeans or even like a high-waisted pair of leggings to run errands or whatever. And I liked that it was a little bit thinner because it's we're kind of in this weird time right now, I feel like between summer and fall. So like it's too hot to be wearing sweaters, but it's too cold to be wearing like tank tops or t-shirts. So I liked that it was kind of a little bit thinner. Boom. All right, you guys, I can't believe that you made it through the entire haul. I feel like that was so much stuff. I feel like I talked for four hours. Who knows how long this video is gonna be. So congratulations to you if you made it all the way to the end. I realized the other day when I was uploading one of my last videos that, hey guys, it is obviously several hours later. I have a different sweater on. Um, I was just going through and editing this video and for some reason, my outro got deleted, so. Basically what I was saying is I realized the other day that it is my 100th upload on YouTube. And so I just wanted to thank you guys. I absolutely love doing YouTube. It's such a fun hobby. And I really enjoy just connecting with you guys. So I just wanted to say thank you and I love you guys all. And I appreciate every single one of you that clicks on my video. Like, 
honestly it warms my soul and it makes me really happy so i just wanted to say thank you and i love you guys all and i will see you in my next video